going on, guys? Eric Black here, Parker Miner over there. We're all hanging out here on Rockcast. Thanks for joining us again this week. We've got a wonderful guest on the show. Um, I know last week we kind of took a break from that. Uh, we we needed some some help mentally, so we just took a break from doing an interview. Yes, and uh, we are back this week with a wonderful, spectacular guest that likes to go by the name of Nick Reese. Now he likes to go by that name because that is his name. Right. So I guess that would make sense that he would. Mm. I don't know. Nick, it, how, how are you, buddy? I'm doing good. Thank now, you guys for having me. Oh, you know what? It's our pleasure. Um, we're just we're just happy you're here because it gets lonely. It gets lonely on this side. Yeah, we no, just appreciate you hanging out with us. Uh, now, rumor has it, Nick, that you are in a delightful band that we like to call Joyous Wolf. Is this... Is this accurate or is this fake news? Uh, total fake news. Mm. I'm actually a member of a Triumph tribute band um, called uh, Disturbance. And oh. Yes. No, um, yeah, I'm in Joyce Wolf. I sing in that band. <laughs> His side project is Tenacious Reese. Yes. Dig it. Dig it. <laughs> uh, quick question. Have you ever been uh, in the moment on stage and you get a... a Big old mouth full of hair. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. I get there it. are about a million pictures of me just getting my munch on on my uh, mm. my dangles here. That seems that seems like a lot. How does that affect the vocals? It doesn't really actually. I mean, uh, I sometimes I don't even know until like after like the song's over and there's that brief lull. And yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. I thought that song takes kind of go here. whoop. Yeah. I just it's just a good snack for during the show, man. You know, it's just a to go box. Yeah. It's not a big deal. A lot of, a lot of protein. Yeah. yeah. I, of... And I used to put stuff in my hair, like snacks and things. So if I whipped it just right, it would land in my mouth. Now, now I do it in my beard as well. So I can just kind of just hide snacks in there. It's just, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> last last week, he found a gummy that probably had been in there since 1997. It was weird. <laughs> it was weird. And it came out just fine. It was like it was ready to be to be done with my beard. So it is what it is. I don't know. I might have. Yes. I might just have just kind of burst that. out. It did. It there you just, go. There's the, there's the title for this Beard Snacks with Nick Reese. There you go. Yes. Your new podcast. I'm digging you got it. It's going to be great. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about Joyous Wolf. Uh, first of all, Joyous Wolf. Were you, were you raised by wolves and one of those wolves was actually really happy and then you decided to create uh, some sort of musical situation around it or what, what happened? You see, you see, that's like, like the funny like version that we always talk about is like, you know, we could have like some dramatic thing. Like uh, we were in the woods and we just saw this like wolf man and it like smiled. We're like, dude, that's like a joyous wolf, you know? And then we're like, ah! you know, um, uh, <laughs> freaking no, uh, we actually made our name on um band name generator.com yes like nice two or, three, two or three days before our first show and we're like we did like dude it was cranking out all these terrible names like if you it's still on there if you go on that website you just use it like it gives you the worst names like you know like we got like intense resentment and like global death and <laughs> you know all hilarious names like that and then we got like joyous wolves and we're like wolf is better right. uh whatever we'll change it later and then we never did never did. and then, <laughs> never did yeah and then when we started like being on like festivals with like our stupid name being with like tool and stuff we were like well it's too late to go back now <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll, just have, yep. we'll just have to rock harder that's just how it's gonna have to happen yeah yeah i mean i don't know people tell me now like oh i love the name and i'm like really cool Dude, actually, <laughs> dude, it is. It's, it's not bad man when i first saw it i was like okay that's interesting i had no idea what to expect and uh, actually, the first the first song I heard it was it was the music video, and it was for the your cover of uh, yeah. uh, you know the Mississippi Queen cover. And um, mm -hmm. I was just like, all right, all right, well, I can dig this. This is cool. This is cool. And and then at, from then on, Joyous Wolf was never a problem for me. I embraced it. Yeah. Um, and I actually made a, a little poster about it with me, and it's all me painted in in Joyous Wolf. I was naked. I was naked Ooh. in it, but uh, it's yeah. not weird. It's fine. I think I think I was there. I think I saw that. You, I think I was. You actually yeah, were. You were. It yeah. was. Y'all don't remember doing it, but I was. I was actually filming. You it. told me you needed help getting your taint, so I was like, you know, getting up yeah. in there. You got to. You have to. Uh, it. It's. You just have to. Um, Can't miss a spot. It's not really a one-person situation, so you know how it goes. Uh -huh. <laughs> it takes two to tango, man. It does. Uh, right. I've tried it with just me, and it's 
weird. I got kicked out of Walmart. It was a weird situation, but. Well, that's why he has me around. I have to give him the extra hand every once in a while. So it is what it is. Well, that's how this joke's going to go. So you guys, uh, you guys are out of, uh, are you still in Orange County over there or did you move across? Yeah. Okay. No, we are definitely still here in the OC. Last time I checked. Nice. Nice. Southern yeah. California. Yeah. So you know, home of the weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that, that happens. I lived there for two years and I was like, ah, I'm good. I'm out. It is, you know, yeah. People here either are really awesome or awful. Yeah. So that's, that's accurate. <laughs> I was, uh, I was in the entertainment industry while I was down there. Um, ah, so you so met everyone. There's that. Yeah. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. that's not. Did you, meet, did you meet any momagers? Those are always my favorites. Oh, so mm, those are, I think those are probably, uh, I would say the, probably the top, the top of the, well, I don't know, man. I like to refer to them as music industry Karens. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yes. That's accurate. Yeah. Completely accurate. That's good. Music industry Karens. Man, I know a lot of those people. Holy cow. <laughs> good Lord. Ugh. Wow. Ugh. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about that cover then. Uh, Mississippi Queen, what made you guys uh, pick this wonderful tune? It was just like, we didn't want to do something that seemed divisive. I guess like you know we had to do a cover to like get our record released pretty much it was like you got to do this and we're like okay um <laughs> so we picked a song that we liked and we kind of all it was always kind of there we always like played that song and we're like i want to do mountain let's do mississippi queen and we're like okay and uh we did it and we just kind of went uh tracked it and the rest is history i guess like i think our only goal was like okay let's just make sure this doesn't suck and <laughs> yeah yeah it definitely doesn't suck man it's really good i, I know you've probably heard it a hundred times but the music video too man it's i feel the energy and I, I was telling eric that um i don't know if you've ever if you've probably played with these guys i'm sure before but blackstone cherry out of kentucky you kind of have a you did yeah we've met them before yeah 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 you kind of have like a uh, this is a compliment you kind of have a chris robertson type voice mixture i don't know if you've heard this but i even heard a little Weirdly enough, Miles Kennedy, which is a compliment Ooh. because man, Miles I mean, he's is totally... a, he's def both of those dudes are yeah, are, man. That's, are a, that's like a perfect mix. So I thought that was cool, and and your energy on stage, and uh, even and on that the... music video is like a drop in the ocean for like what yeah. I do actually live. Like they're like you know, there's little points like okay, Nick, you need to tone it down, <laughs> like you need to just just give them just enough, and I'm like okay, all right, so I'll just keep it to the yeah. front flip, won't bother with the back flips, and yeah. uh you know, the crazy uh, one-offs and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like, I just like to party when I play. I like to, yeah, man. I like to dance. I hate people standing around. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can just milk this monkey see monkey do thing to like the extreme. And hopefully one day when people go to our concerts, I hope to see um, people dancing because oh. that's what I want. I just want to yes. make dancing synonymous with rock and yes. roll music again yes you know? uh, and that's, that's my goal. and that's the weird thing too is like there's a there's there's no live music at all and it's probably not going to happen and it's definitely not going to happen until at least next year yeah i think early i think spring of next year we'll start to see now it. you guys were set to go on a tour did you get into any of that at all before you before covid hit? no uh we were doing prep, prep preparation shows uh we were playing uh with some one-offs like here in socal it's actually great because it was like the first time like we ever like filled clubs here by ourselves and it was like oh, wow. oh cool it was just like you know because we've been busting our asses for the last three three four years you know so i think there was just really us finally seeing you know getting to reap the benefits because it's like oh it's a joyous wolf show let's see what happens mm -hmm. and we filled the clubs and we're like oh wow what a great feeling this is you know yeah walking out with a little bit of dough and just feeling like we'd won yeah. you know and it was and it yeah. was good. Yeah. you know and of course thing we were going to go on this uh spring tour with um uh pop evil mm. and a bunch of these other young rock mm. bands it was looking to be so much fun you know because i know some of these dudes like justin from broken love yep. and you know and uh, i was looking forward to just hanging out you know and having a good time uh, yeah. and then we were going to go do our first european run a re european festivals we were going to do download grass pop Hellfest. Uh, you name it, we were probably on it, you know, yep. and we were going to go do that and plus a bunch of touring over there. And so that got completely derailed, which I think broke our hearts for a good, uh, good couple of months. And you know, oh, now, yeah. we're, now we're over it. We've made peace with it. And the thing is, with now we've been announced and we're back on the 
all those next nice. year. Nice, so. no, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Was that was that yeah. a something to look forward to? Process? Something to hold on yeah, to? Yeah, no doubt, no right. doubt, man. Was that a process that you had to fight for, fight for, or were they pretty easy on saying no, no, no? We'll we'll just roll it over to next year. Uh, no, I think it was very, like a very much a thing of like all the festivals are like, yeah, we want to have everyone back again. Okay. You know, that's um, cool. You know, because it, it's just one of those things. It's like it's no one's fault, but the you know, but the universe is so. I think everyone just you know gets. Let's just bring it back and let's just do yeah. it. Yeah, super you know? easy. And that was really great. You know, great for us. You know, for well yeah. deserved. Well it's deserved. Super easy for the promoter. Uh, copy paste done. Good job. Exactly done. It. Yeah, that's amazing. Rock and roll. <laughs> uh, so you guys are you guys on? Uh, you guys are on Roadrunner right now, right? Yeah, we've been on Roadrunner now for two and a half. 2018 years. was when you. Uh, Got on there. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about <clears throat> now. This is one of the the bigger labels, in my opinion. I love Roadrunner, first of all, but yeah. um, yeah, not a plug. Okay. Well, it is kind of a plug, but I actually do. I love it. I mean, I, I mean, I I probably have to at some point anyway. So yeah. Roadrunner Records, established 1980, known for metal artists such as Slipknot and also alternative artists like Young the Giant, having a dear, a crazy section of music. It will bring you happy feelings. Oh. Roadrunner Records, TM, Aww. DDS, PhD. That's special. Okay. That right. section of the show is brought to you by Roadrunner Records. Yes. Have we said it? Have we said Roadrunner? That sponsor is brought to you. Have by... we said that enough? Have we said Roadrunner? <laughs> we can say it more. Roadrunner. Roadrunner. Uh, Roadrunner. Hey, Nick, what what uh what label are you guys on right now? Roadrunner Records. Oh, well, that's <laughs> me and Eric have actually been a fan of them probably since. Uh, Early 2000s wait, when we got into radio. Fan, so. Wait, are you guys saying that you're fans? Oh, uh, yeah. Of Roadrunner yeah, Records? Yeah, fans of Roadrunner yeah. Records. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of it? You're, you're at <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. <clears throat> anywho, anywho. Uh, you're at now, you, have you guys been uh, doing any of this? I know a lot of bands are, are, are in the mix now of doing live streams. Have you guys uh, partaked in any of this? Partaked? Partake? We are currently going to be doing that. We're doing this thing for um, Bethesda Con, or, you know, which hmm. is the Bethesda, the company that made Skyrim and Halo right. and Fallout. And yeah, yeah we're, uh, we're the bumper music during their what? online convention that they're doing. Oh, that's cool. And they're going to be airing um, three songs from this live set that we recorded. Wow. And uh, then we're going to release the entire show on YouTube and all that. So everybody will get a, get a chance to see Dude, that. That's going to be awesome. Wow. That's going to be cool. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward Do you to think it. you're going to have the same energy i mean it's not going to be the same obviously but no no not even remotely <laughs> i mean the whole, the whole thing going through my mind during like the filming and whatever was just like god i'm out of shape <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm a guy who likes to go to the gym every right. day and and yeah. do all this stuff you know and it's just nothing prepares you you know there's nothing quite like yeah. it and you know i can sing every day but it's just kind of like putting my training wheels back on so to speak because i'm just it's like you kind of you know you're not you don't know not how to ride the bike yeah. anymore it's, it's just, been a while if you're not doing it all the time it's really hard to just kind of pick it up and i think that was a genuine thing yeah. you know from uh just me and the guys but we gave it our, we gave it our our damnedest <laughs> you know so i think i think it came out pretty Fair good. enough yeah i mean that's you know that's the thing too across the board that's what we were this whole show was designed um to actually be a uh, in-person show we had a venue lined up we had all this stuff lined up and then COVID hit and changed all of those plans so we yeah. literally had to uh change the focus on everything we had to build sets we had to do all this stuff all this fancy stuff you see in the back here um hand built i did that yeah uh parker did his as well we've kind of had to you know you, you gotta you gotta go with the times you get whatever is necessary to to make whatever you want to happen happen you gotta do that so um yeah. you know it's I one agree. of those things where uh what are you gonna do what are you gonna do? But um, you just buy all the buy all the equipment before it all sells out. Because oh. what was happening is everybody was going to buy all this stuff to do these similar scenarios. Of course, um, it was unreal. So luckily, me and Eric were like, "Hey, man, let's let's go ahead and make the move to go to digital." And went out and bought the camera. And luckily, I'm sure I'm sure Roadrunner Records probably had all of that equipment for you guys already. So <laughs> yeah, we were we were. Uh... They were, they were already doing stuff with uh, bands like Fever 333 and other Dude, love and, them. Uh, and so it was like, a, they're like, hey, you know, we should, you guys should do something. 
And of course, we got like a week to figure it out as all of these things are always like, it's like, well, you're doing this. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I haven't done a full on like Joyous Wolf show in a neon. So this is going to go <laughs> really great. good, you know? So it was, yeah. So I, I kind of just had to like throw myself into it and really practice really hard. And I couldn't practice too hard because then I'd be too tired. And so just yeah. trying to, get myself back into some semblance of, of shape, like in, you know, the seven days I had to prepare. Yep. But, you know, like I said, it just, you just kind of roll with it. I mean, I'm, I'm used to, to obstacles being in the way of getting things done. So it wasn't anything new yeah. to me. It wasn't, know? wasn't like it. Yeah. It wasn't something where it was an obstacle too much. You had to just figure out how to get over it and, and move around it's it. You just had to go. For, I just go for it. Like I don't. I you know I'm one of those people that just goes for it and ask questions later, yeah. which uh, has done both good and bad things for my life and career. So get that mostly good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are you guys able to? Um, are you guys able to practice at all, or are you just kind of? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we we have we were quarantined like the entire freaking time for the most part. You know. Like when we went out, it was just for small things, yep. like everyone, you know, go get some groceries and normal things like that. And, you know, we only seem to go out when it's Joyce Wolf stuff when needs to be done, you know. And we have a practice space over in Santa Ana that we go and, and mess around in. And we're there a couple times a week. Right. And, you know, we just kind of been getting back into the swing of things, you know, and all the stuff that we've been doing lately, which has been a lot of stuff, like we have a lot of stuff that's going to, going to come out in the next like two months. Wow. So I mean a lot, like, <laughs> <laughs> so you've been, you've been busy is what you're trying to say. Trying to keep as busy yeah, yeah. as we can be, you know, like, well, and, that, is and that's, that's kind of, so, so with everything, I know there are some, some obvious things that you've had to change because of COVID because of these things, but what are some things that you've had that you've learned that, that are maybe something that you'll carry over even after COVID? Is there anything that, you know, that's come to light where you're like, Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Let's just continue doing this. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, I've always been kind of like, at least like for my my personal like sanitation, I've always kind yeah. of been that way. It's like it's like washing my hands and yeah. smelling good, being relatively yeah. clean and germ free. You know, that's something yeah. that I've always kind of been. So that's not too different now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think I think all it's really done is just made me appreciate the things that I've done and the things that I've had and, and the friends that I have and, you know, especially um, the dudes in Joyce Wolf, my yeah. guys, you know. Um, and just that it's like, it was really easy for you to fall into this point of like, this is the end, you know, you get into that headspace, especially the first couple of months was very tough as it was for I everyone. Imagine so, yeah. is, you know? and, and for a workaholic like me, it's absolutely the worst thing like possible because all i want to do is be busy like i will gladly pile on a bunch of things that nobody wants to do just so i have yeah. something to yeah. do you know like, yeah me and eric are the same way we call each other every day and we're like hey man i don't have anything to do go ahead and pile yep. something up in that email yep. let's get it going yep. and he was like you know what let's call nick reese let's get him <laughs> on the show and let's talk about is joyous it, wolf isn't he from yeah. roadrunner records you're right roadrunner yeah, Records. i thought yeah. so um Speaking of Roadrunner Records, randomly, <clears throat> I found oh, some uh, I found some cool stuff that was said about uh, about Joyous Wolf, and this was um this was from I guess it was an interview, but it's on it's online on the Daily Pilot. Um, ben Brazil over there, I guess. Uh, inter guys, I don't on believe the internet. It. No, it's on I the internet. It's it. got to be true. Um, yeah. but uh, Dave Rath, the senior vice president of A and R at Roadrunner yes. Records said that, uh, he said over the phone, he knew the band had what it takes to be successful when he saw them perform live on, uh, live in October at the Aftershock Festival in Sacramento. These guys can play, Rath said. They have total command of their instruments. They have fire in their fingers. Nick, let me see your fingers real quick. Let me see your fingers. Yes. Let me see them. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. that's um, crazy. I totally Woo. saw it. Just, it just add, just I'm going to do it. It's going to be in post. post. And yeah. then I have to delete that because you said add it in post and everybody's going to know that I added it in post. So I'm going to have to delete this whole thing because it's a whole mix of craziness. So, so wait, do a pause <sighs> and then do that thing again. Ah! <laughs> I'm not editing anything. This is going to be awesome. Um, 
Yeah. But no, I think that for, coming from, you know, coming from the vice president of A and R, which is I, I feel like that's a pretty big deal. That I mean, I deal with Dave a lot at this point, so for me, big deal for me. Every every, every day four day. hours on a, yeah. uh, every a random email chain, you know, he's from right. New York. You know, he's from New York. You know, New from York from Manhattan. Caps, yeah, so Caps, yeah. Manhattan, yeah. You know, it's like you know, he's like, we need to be, we need to keep, we need to keep shop. We, you know, you just gotta keep out pumping out the swongs. You know, pumping out the swongs. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up a yeah, sound bite from him, and I'm gonna find out if that's a pretty accurate. Swans. Oh, right. trust me, it is. All right, it, I'm gonna put them side is. by side. You know, we have jokes for him, like where it's like Dave with a telescope, and he's like looking out, out at the scene. He's like, "What are you looking at, Dave? I'm looking swans. at swans. I gotta find the swans. 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 Wow." <laughs> Dave Rath. He's with Road uh, Runner. Roadrunner, isn't he? Oh, he's yeah. with Roadrunner. Well, they're A&R, Rathers, I think, yeah. at Roadrunner. Okay. I think that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, that was actually what got us our record deal, which I am very prideful of to this day, was a one live performance at Aftershock Festival back in 2018. That's crazy. That's awesome. And that, or sorry, 2017. Right. right. Time flies. Um, and... Yeah, that's all it was. I just remember that show. Like it, we had done our first tour, we played a bunch of little festivals. It was like our first show was outside of California. You know, went from playing clubs in LA to playing in like Wisconsin at Sonic Boom Festival and playing at uh, the was it uh, Rock Allegiance Fest. We played a lot of in life. Yeah. That was the second show we ever played. Wow, you yeah. know, and, and we, you know we were like, you what know, year was uh, that? Do you remember Louder Louder Than Life? Which one were you at? Twenty seventeen. Eric, I want to say we, we were. were. Um, yeah. Went on right before uh, Van Fleet did. So. We probably saw you. Oh, then. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We were, you, was we were probably in the media. Show. We were probably in the media tent. <laughs> I was in the media tent a lot that day. So maybe. You, maybe. Maybe. It's quite possible. And by media tent, we mean picnic tables. Exactly. On the side of the stage. Yes. Where, you can, not... the, where you can hear all the 808 oh, sub. My God. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> It definitely wasn't the luxury of Rock on the Range, where we actually had air, AC tents. And I love Rock. I was at Rock on the Range. Uh, we were at Rock on the Range uh, in 2018. Um, did yep. all of those ones. We did all of the spring ones that following. Yeah, we've you know we jumped right into it. And here's a great little story about Roadrunner Records. Roadrunner Records um, is uh, Corey Taylor. Um, we were playing our first show at Sonic Boom Festival and he was playing with Stone Sour that night and our friend was videotaping our set. You know, our friend who was on the road with us and he pans over to the side and, and is like, it's Corey Taylor standing there rocking out to what we were playing. That's at, cool. Like, the finale of our song. And we met him afterwards and he's like, you guys are great. And he was super yep. nice. Um, yeah, super nice to us. I was so nervous that I was like, I love your record. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, Iowa. I, I was, I wanted to say Iowa. I know right. the name of the record. I've heard it a million times. This is before <laughs> Roadrunner, before Dave Sauce and everything. But this was like the first kind of utterance of our name in that camp because uh, I met him again the next day at um, Louder Than at. Oh, wait, I got to yeah. tell the funny story. Sorry. So yeah, I, I was talking to him and I was so nervous that I called Iowa. Everybody Ohio. does. Yeah. <laughs> and. Yeah, and I and I was like, and and he was like, and the guys looked at me like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I was like, I mean, I'm sorry, I did, you know, and you could tell, and it, it was so funny because he always right. got that low voice, so he's like, I will never right. forgive you, <laughs> you know, like, and, and and it was really, it was really, really funny, and we've met him so many, we've hung out with him so many times yeah. since then, and you know, now we're we're like label weirds, which is weird to say, Roadrunner, but um, yeah. Yeah, was, but yeah. So, so he ended up being like, "Nah, it's okay." Some dude the other week, like last week, called yep. it Idaho, and oh, it, just gosh. Took, it just took all of the, yep. you know, the tension out of it. And but I, I got to hang out with him <laughs> at uh, at Louder Than Life for a little bit, and I gave him um, our demo disc, and he and he took it. I'll never forget him being like, "Yeah," and he put it in his back pocket, and. That was that, but what was great right before that is I was walking around with him, just kind of talking with him, and then he walked up and Lacuna Whoa. Coil was there, and he walked up to Lacuna Coil and he like brought me with him. He said, yeah, come on. He's like, hey guys, and they're like, oh hey Corey, he's saying hello to them, and it's like, this is Nick from the singer, he's from the band Joyous Wolf, and and they're like, oh yeah, and I'm like, this is the weirdest <laughs> that is, yeah ever happened, 
at that point weirder things right. have happened since then trust me but that was like the first time where i was like is yeah. this freaking happening like the dude yeah. that used to terrify me when i was in seventh grade <laughs> right you know like it's is like my right. friend you know is like being super cool to me and it was one of the coolest things well and that, and then that, that's you know? one of the things that, that parker and i have experienced when we were uh when we were actually in in radio is that we would do these, you know, acoustic shows. Sometimes the bands would come to the radio station, do acoustic shows right before their show at night, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, it was interesting to us to meet these people because <clears throat> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes these people weren't cool at all. Sometimes you wanted to punch them in the face and sometimes you did punch them in the face, um, which is probably why we're not in radio now that I think about it, Parker, but <laughs> It, it's always good. It's always good. Even if you meet like five bad ones and you meet that one good one, you're just like, okay, good. There's, there's at least one good yep. one that's still out there. That's still not, you know, a douchebag. that. I'm going to tell you right now, man, I've been extraordinarily lucky or maybe I'm just, I got a face to like, okay, yep. I'll be nice to this kid. Like, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I have everyone I've met, everyone that I've had an interaction with, whether it's Billy Idol, Dave Grohl, mm. uh, you know, Queens of the Stone Age, you know, uh, Stone yeah. Temple Pilots. Every, everybody that I've met that has been a hero of mine, yeah, have been nothing but so kind and so. That that was our nice. experience yeah. too with with every yeah. one of those we worked with them. Yeah. Pretty much almost all of them. Dave Dave when he did his Sonic Highways, um, HBO documentaries and stuff, he came to mm -hmm. Nashville and of course Nashville's on it. And he was, I literally I was in the there's a venue called the Basement in Nashville, and I was I was standing uh watching the documentary i knew like the food some of the guys were going to be showing up and i looked to my right and literally dave is standing <laughs> right next to me and i was just kind of like hey dave hey dave and he was like what up man and we just kept watching the doc man you know and then by the next thing you know dude you're i'm it was like one of those moments i was standing outside talking about indian motorcycles with uh smoking a cigar and a drinking a classy pbr with dave Grohl, man that was a cool night that was cool. Yeah, we we have. I have a great story for that too. This is one of my crowning achievements because I'm just, I'm a lot, and I know that. And I'm, I thank you to all the people who put up with me on a daily basis. Um, but uh, just throwing that out there into the universe, especially Road Runner Records. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. But no, when when I met Dave, when the guys and I met Dave, um, it was unfortunate because Robert had this. Our, my drummer had things with his legs something he had contracted some sort of random thing that made his legs swell up and Ooh. he had to go and he had to stay off because we were just Man. going there for press and then it just turned out we're like hey let's go see billy idol play and i was in the vip section and i watched uh um billy idol do dancing with myself what? live which was one of the coolest things ever for me like, oh man you know there's certain things where i'm like yeah, you know, yeah, like dude. all I think about is in yes. the wedding singer when yes. he's on the plane. Yeah. Move out of the way, <laughs> Billy Idol, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh but but no, so I saw that and that was awesome. And I went back and I was standing backstage with uh, Greg and Blake and Pat Smear and like and like other, you know, Queens of Stone Age members and stuff are all walking by. And I'm like, Pat Smear. And he looked over at me and he just goes, dude, <laughs> and keeps walking. And he came back later and he, and he like kind of stopped and was like, so what, who are you guys? You know? And I was like, Oh, you know, I'm in a band. And I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I was like, do you want to see me do something really stupid? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> so I did one of my crazy acrobatic routines in front of him. And he like was like, dude. <laughs> and, and he went over, he's like, Dave what? needs to see this. And he, and I'm like, what? You know, this is a true story. I wow. swear, I'm not making any of this up. And he walks and he, walks over and brings like i had no plans of going i'm not one of those people i don't want to go yeah. up and be like yeah. hey how's it going you know like, yeah and he brought him to me and he's like do the thing again and i did it again <laughs> and i forget dave like and i have photos of this so this right. is so you know that i'm not making this up and um thankfully uh daniel golly good friend daniel golly in the clutch with the <laughs> with the camera um but yeah uh freaking he was like, Dave's reaction was amazing. He just jumped and like, what the fuck was that? You know, and he's like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> and we started talking and I had, a, again, he remembered because I went to the radio station here at yes. KLOS once uh, yep. when him and Taylor were hosting Jones's jukebox. And he remembered that. And it was like a thing that he remembered. He's like, yeah, actually, no, yeah, that's I do remember cool. That. And so it was like, we ended up getting to talk for a while. And Robert, you know, is 
of course, you know, his hero yeah. is right here. His drumming hero is Dave and, or one of them anyways. And, and I'm like, I need to do something. Cause I've done this before. Whenever I meet Robert's favorite, favorite drummers, I always get them to make a video where he, they're like, you know, Hey Rob, keep practicing or whatever, you know, like, because I'm a jackass. Um, it's all because yeah. I, it's all because I love him. Love you. That's <laughs> so awesome. I was like, hey, my friend, he hurt his legs. Like you know, his legs are hurt. He's sitting back at um, our condo that we're staying at. Could you make a video for him? And this video is on the Joyous Wolf Instagram. If you go and find, you can go and find it. And it's just Dave being like, hey, Robert. By the way, I'm I'm, I'm under this small assumption that Dave may have been high. <laughs> Um, oh, but, weird. Uh, I don't know why you would think that. <laughs> but it's because he's just like, I got three words for you. No, four words. Don't be a fucking pussy, which is, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he says that, and it was one of the, and it's a great picture of me and Blake, like looking at the phone and like Dave is being like, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to find, Dave, I want to find that on the, you said Instagram? Yeah, and, 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 uh so later after that we're like freaking out like dude that was so amazing and then greg's like holy fuck and i turn around and it's what? josh homie like oh. not like oh no like uncomfortably close like, oh my like this close what? <laughs> like it's, you know and he's huge so i'm like up to his what chest and i'm like what the fuck you know and he's like he's like these dudes are lame he's talking about the billy idol people because they wouldn't let them watch you know they wouldn't let what? them watch Why? Wouldn't let them watch? Crazy. yeah i don't know i don't know but he's like you guys you guys should come and watch us you know and it was like okay all right so we got to go side stage it was just us and like a few like loose number of people you had to yep. get like a little you know badge yep. from them yep. Went up there and we're standing there and we watched queens of the stone age live and it was incredible and then right after that we went right back to that other stage and we watched the Foo fighters play live oh that's so awesome that was one of the greatest days oh. of my life nothing was more yeah. like wow i need to work harder when i heard everybody and like all the people of that entire festival singing my hero yep, yep. oh yeah you know that was one yep. of the craziest experiences of my life where i was truly like this yeah. is something yeah. different you know well yeah. and that's exactly what that's, I want. yeah this is what i want this is where i'm supposed to be um this is i I love where i'm at right now yes yeah. exactly exactly um yeah. now would you say and i've asked this this question to a few different uh rock stars that's right i'm calling you a rock star that's right mm -hmm. rock star yeah rock Doesn't star matter. you're still a rock star like still, to still gonna happen you're still a rock star if you're on road runner records you are <laughs> that's considered right. that's right a rock star road runner records Thank you. right eric road runner records. road runner records would you uh i know i know this is kind of a loaded question um nothing crazy but would you is there is there a would you rather play a festival or would you rather play like a venue? Am I opening for a band you or is it are, my show? You are the show. So if it's at yeah. a club, it's okay. our gig. Probably that. Uh, it's really tough. It's so different. Like a festival is like, okay, everyone's yep. here to watch music and they're all, and that's a really different energy and they're all really just stoked <laughs> mm, to hear true. anything. And, you know, and this, you know, that's true. Like, but when it's your show and everybody's there for you to listen to you and they know your songs and you're getting, the, you can feel the excitement when you play the one that they want to hear. That's a very new thing for the guys and I when just a couple of shows we've done like that, you know, cause usually we're, sure. we've just been supporting the last couple of years, but when, you know, but I, I love that it was, it's just such a feeling of like, <laughs> you're like, Oh my God, it's this song. You know, I, I can feel them. I can feel them do that. And I'm like, it just makes me feel like, oh, yeah. God, we were, we, you know, that's so cool. We, yep. we wrote that is cool. Oh, somebody thinks is worth, that, yeah, is worth being excited. That's exactly over. So, how so, yeah. I feel when my mom oh, yeah. sings my songs. Uh, it's totally amazing that she knows my songs. Um, just makes me happy. Makes me happy inside. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, like recently, like the main station here picked up our song and nice. they're playing us a lot now and just getting texts from people being nice. like, dude, just heard of you. Um, yeah radio. what station is that do you know it's KLOS 95.5 KLOS yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they support new rock man real yeah. hard yeah. and you know Dude, that's, bless cool. them. that's you know, and, and that's the thing though like a lot of radio stations yeah. are not really doing that like there, there's a few that say they do but uh most of the radio stations just don't care yeah they really don't i love i love yeah. a lot of the alternative stations down here playing you all the newest alternative yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
I'm like, oh, that song's not 30 years oh, old. All right. You, this was from 30 years ago. This whole show was from 30 years ago. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Wow, that's awesome. Anyway, oh, LA. <laughs> Roadrunner Records. No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> but it, no, but, but but yeah, freaking uh, playing playing to an audience that that knows your stuff. Again, I haven't been to a point yet where I play in front of right. a festival audience that knows my stuff. So that might be a whole well, other. Um, if oh, COVID, man, I bet a whole other experience. You probably would have experienced that at some point because there. Well, <laughs> it's good though because now you can kind of. Now, you, well, I mean, it sucks at the same time, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it's, I mean, as, as, as lousy as things are, yeah. they're pretty great yeah. for being lousy. Uh, you know. uh, what is records. COVID? What is that? I don't know. Oh, okay. yeah. Anyway, rock and roll. So um, now if you're, when you decided to get signed, decided yeah <laughs> we but we're like signed. you know what fuck yeah. this like let's we'll call make it up. happen let's call them up and hey did you sign us yeah sure this, um, th- that's exactly how done. verbatim yeah. that's how google it. that's how it happened that's my least favorite question in the world that people ask me how'd you get signed like it's like it's one it's i, I take it very disrespectfully because i'm like yeah we played yeah. And we were all, yeah. okay <laughs> we played somebody, and apparently we were terrible so i guess put us on a thought, label and why that's not how we did it <laughs> yeah yeah why would somebody ask Horrible. that they ask oh. it a lot i get asked it a lot and i'm always very brutally honest with that question i'm like it was not this thing i didn't have a like a relative that yeah. knew somebody like and we take a lot of pride in that we just went out and played and yeah. people looked up when we did yeah. and that is what was mm-hmm. important yeah. and still is what's so most important. So looking down the road, um, let's l- looking past COVID, so 2021 apparently, what are we, what's happening? Yeah. What's happening? What's going on with Joyous Wolf? Where are we headed? What's going on? Where, what? You know, we're, ju- we're just, uh, we're writing a record, writing a full length and taking our sweet time. All we have is time right now. So, right. Um, we have again. We released a new single about a month ago, month yep. and a half ago, called uh, "Odyssey," and uh, people have been digging it a lot. And that makes Dig me it. feel yeah, really good I, about it. What, yes. Who did the cartoon for the video? It was a company um, uh, from uh, nice. South America. Funny enough, um, that's right. The difference do between doing name, doing sorry. a cartoon and doing a real one. What was the decision on that? Was it just something that you thought thought would be? I think it was just an, opp- an opportunity to do it, and I think it was just to explore that. And I think it was very interesting, you know, just feeding it was. Thing thematically, and it fit very well thematically with w- what I've been writing about. And I'm writing all the music right now about Homer's The Odyssey, which is I have a really strange obsession oh. with um, antiquity, and um, I just thought like I want to, you know, that was the goal. Let's take something needlessly complicated and make uh, and make it into. Um, songs that anyone can enjoy that was the challenge you know i always tried tried to challenge myself and that was the challenge that i wanted to do it and that first song um odyssey yeah. was like me being like okay i can do this and i know what i want to do sure. moving how, forward how long did that cartoon style take to make wow a couple of wow. months i think that's yeah, oh yeah hmm. yeah it's actually it turned really, out good, really cool uh, I showed it to my kiddo, man. He was, he was, he was just. I mean, that was kind of the thing. Is like, you know, to do something that. I mean, I'm tired, especially just speaking for myself. I'm tired of all of the rock and roll tropes. Yeah. I mean, I like I how I dress now, and I'm making it very clear in in the live concert that we're gonna have released and whatever is that. I really just, and I've already kind of have like, just I I just hate. I hate the rock and roll machismo thing of like, you got to be covered in tattoos. You got to have, you got to be a freaking chain smoking cigarettes. And you got to sing about girls and cars and, and, you know, getting lucky. And, 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 it, you know, I, I, I like that just fine, but I'm, but I was, as far as like, if you want to turn me off really easily, like if it's like new rock music, Oh, check out this new, rock song and i hear that and it's that yeah, yeah. i'm just like oh whatever yeah you know i mean it's like not saying that it's yeah. necessarily bad it's not what i'm into I, I just like i want more i want more and i feel like we haven't gotten a lot more from no. rock yeah. bands yes. in a Absolutely. while 
and you know like rival sons is like the first like eyebrow raiser in forever you know rival like, sons is really good yeah their new record that they had released uh feral roots to me was was it was they were robbed at the grammys like the mm-hmm. fact that they didn't win best rock record because it really was the only real rock record on there yeah and the songs are great and it's and it's yeah. just it's a shame um you know and uh like you know they they are kind of weirdly uncredited for the new rock outcropping because they are the ones who were doing all the hard work for everybody a lot since 2009 when they, you know, they're from SoCal too. And they Mm -hmm. were always kicking around, you know, we always knew about them and I went and saw them back in 2015, you know, really early on in Joyous Wolf time. And it was really inspiring. Um, yeah, you know, like they they definitely deserve more credit. Well, it, it sounds like they need a yeah. documentary yeah. done on them so people can understand what you know what they really mean and what. Uh, wow. Yeah, you know, someday, you know, again, if anyone ever asks me, like, oh, you know, who is the, who do you give this to? It's like I give it to them, no matter what, you know, no and ifs or buts. And also, you know, being a singer, there is no one better in modern rock music than Jay Buchanan. Nobody. If anyone tries to come at me with that, I will fight you. You can, you can I take will your fight you. ass right outside. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like uh, Miles Kennedy and and Jay are are kind of the yeah. just the pivot points. You know, they're just yep. Yeah. Between the two of them, like there's just no one stacks up to them in modern mm-hmm. settings. You know, like to me, like Feral Roots was the best record since Audio Slaves self titled oh, back yeah. in two thousand three. Wow. So <laughs> yeah, you know. And that's the level of it was at, you know, and again, it's a shame it didn't, uh, didn't uh, win that award, which means relatively nothing, honestly, but still yeah. it meant something, it means something to the rock community because yeah. they don't even air rock yeah. anymore, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, that's one reason we wanted to have you on too, man, just to really, you know, appreciate the, the true rock and roll spirit, man. And you've definitely brought that to us tonight, just talking. Yes. Uh, it was very cool to, to very, you know, be able to share those, uh, experiences and stuff man I, I i can relate me and eric both again we were in radio for how long, long. Eric? probably about 25 Too 35 long. years and um yeah it's just when you meet somebody that understands like real rock and the meaning behind it the feelings behind it man we're we're very uh we're Drunk. very what's the word eric Drunk. we are we are or yeah touch. we're talking yeah that too yes yeah twice twice i mean again it for me it's 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 just what i do it's what i love to do and um just going back to the question from earlier the answer for more of it is uh we have another single coming out soon um and uh it's gonna be a Sounds whopper delicious. i can't wait to see uh, what people think of this um uh, uh you know and then um oh. honest, honestly uh 2021 you know hope to release said new record when it will be done <laughs> whenever that'll be and now are you guys able go to go the into the studio or you do know? you have how do you how do you record now we can i mean we can because it's like very you know because there's not too many yeah. people you know it's like maybe sure. you know the four of us and two it's other people pretty easy scenario then so nice yeah it's not it's not difficult i mean if, if that you know like i went and finished vocals on a song the other day and it's just me and my producer, you know, you know, <laughs> right. wearing masks. And- oh, you know, that reminds me of another band that I believe plays for this huh. label. Huh. Uh, masks. Oh, Roadrunner Records, I believe, is the is the oh, label. Um, Slipknot. Yeah. Yes. They wear masks yeah. when they play. Yes, they do. No, they're actually <laughs> they've actually been, uh, been <laughs> yeah. coined as experts on the matter of mask wearing so they have some things to say about mask wearing yes i saw i did i did see a meme where it was like if Corey <laughs> taylor did. can do a set yeah. in a mask you can yeah, you well, can, there, yeah there was yeah, actually a, yeah, we saw that too. A, a write-up somebody did an article on them they interviewed them and, and said what are your thoughts on on wearing masks <laughs> and they went through like the whole you know the whole song and dance about uh you know we it's not really that fun to wear the mask but it looks cool and it's something that you know that that is us so jay from the, the drummer over there he he had some things to say about yeah. it too he's like just do it just wear it. you know you just got to do it you just got to do it just do it just, just do it yeah just wear your damn mask it, you know like i 
I don't like going out. You know, I don't like the idea of possibly contributing yeah. to something, plus, you know, plus that would hurt somebody yeah. else, you know? Right. But, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That um, within itself yeah. is just enough to keep me away. And um, yeah, you know, uh, I think really all of that is just, yeah. Just people being people, and I, and that's a sad yep. c- conclusion, yeah. you know. Yeah. And that's and that you just you know no matter what you do, it's gonna it's gonna pop that way, you know. People are yeah, just gonna act right. that way. And Eric, he actually takes he puts a lot of work into his mask. If you look at it, he actually <laughs> he goes and he trims his you armpit grew it, hair. Yeah. Yeah, and then he actually he glues it on every morning to make it. So before this show, I actually saw him. He was in the bathroom, just kind of gluing it on. I was like, man, it's good. I think you got enough hair on it's your mask, process, dude. It looks like, like a beard now. It's good. Um, yeah, you know, uh, so twenty, yeah, twenty twenty one. Just hoping for for more of that, you know, and just uh, as far as the rest of this year, just try to do anything and everything that we can. You know, we're releasing a lot of fun stuff that's going to come out, and I think people are really going to dig it. And honestly, uh, I think we'll have one of the best looking uh, live streams for live concert streams. Good. I think I can say that with confidence. And uh, speaking of, you know, uh, being who you are, uh, like I was saying earlier, is like I like to dress very flashy, <laughs> and uh, I like uh, people to know, get very well acquainted with my nipples. All right. Uh, so uh, with my uh, my sheer clothing, I love sheer clothing. I don't know. I don't feel like myself unless <laughs> I'm as loud as the clothes I wear. Dig it. <laughs> Dig it. Understood. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Nick Reese of Joyous Wolf. Nick, uh, where do we find you on a line, socials, all that stuff? Uh, you can find me at uh, just Nick Reese on Instagram. You can do uh, Joyous Wolf music on Instagram. Joy- literally just Google Joyous Wolf and you will you will find the, the breadcrumb do trail it. to me. But also one last thing, if I may plug something, uh, is I have a show where I talk with singers and it's called what? Singer Speaking. And uh, I do it all live on Instagram and I post it to YouTube. And I've already done oh, episodes dude. with Luke from The Struts. Nice. Um, Justin Ben Lolo from Broken Love. Uh, Chris Jericho from Fozzy. Nice. Uh, uh, Landon Milborn from Goodbye June. Cody Bowles from Crownlands. All the new rock cats that are good friends and pals of mine. And the last guest I have, my episode is coming out tomorrow, what? is uh, with Jeff Tate from Queensryche. And oh, yeah. Yeah, so at yeah. Singers Speaking on Instagram, if you want to check it, some of that stuff out. And cool. uh, you can do Singers Speaking on YouTube on my Volume 11 magazine uh, YouTube channel. And you can Dude, that sounds that pretty there. awesome, so actually. My, my uh, I would, I would child nice. checking that out. I saw that earlier, and I totally forgot to put it on my list of things to talk about because uh, it's my first day, apparently. So, um, oh, But yeah, no, that's, that's it's my, all good, man. Uh, it's my first day. He's new. First day. Anyway. Rock what you Nick, thank you so much for coming on the show this week um good yeah, luck dude. to you guys i know uh i know That's it's kind of weird right now but 2021 is going to be a, an amazing year we've got some good uh say that live show again coming up for you guys so, uh it's not it's not a concrete date but uh okay. it's uh Beth- the bethesda gaming convention so be relatively soon. I don't know an exact date on that, but it will be soon. There'll be announcements. Just follow us anywhere on Choice Bowl, anywhere. Appreciate you coming on the show. Um, nice. And good luck to uh, to you guys on your future endeavors. Roadrunner Records. Um, Thanks. But uh, everyone else, Roadrunner thank you so much for tuning in Road to the show again this week. We look forward to seeing you next week. Find us online, ericblackwashere.com forward slash rockcast. Go check it out. Go subscribe to everybody, everything that you've seen here and heard here today uh it all deserves it it's all good music it's all good style good times he's gonna keep this going isn't he? one more thing one more thing if anyone here is from joyous wolfland if anyone here is from joyous wolfland please support yeah. eric and parker and yes get it done and subscribe Thanks, to rockcast appreciate that all right guys we'll see you again next okay. week i'm eric black parker minor nick see you guys peace and love See you next time.